Bob. <clears throat> so this is the part number for the front loop. Just the part number. And this is the front under swirler. Use this screw up there. All right, we don't want anyone to do this, but we're not using these. So we're gonna cut them off. Yeah, we're not. So basically in the instructions, it says to drill into the bumper, probably here and then inside, but we're not gonna drill into the bumper. It doesn't make any sense. So we're gonna cut these off. All right, I guess we're gonna take them off. Is it, stick, is it sticked on? Uh-huh. Looks like it's taped. Here we go. There's one. So the paint is probably, I'm not the paint, the tape is probably still fresh. Double-sided tape. Maybe we can put some in that in that spot. I'm gonna see if I can find some double-sided tape. Man, it's hot and it's cloudy, so helps a little bit. Boom! Double-sided tape. <sighs> Must be nice, right? <clears throat> These are the instructions for the front and the rear. I'll post it in the description of the video where you guys can download it and print it out. For this part, I don't know the thing. It says to drill any shadows all in the way. You better? No. <laughs> so you can see? Yeah, so. I ain't gonna be too bright. So if you guys look. It says to drill here and drill here in no, the no, front. No, we're not drilling out I know. I'm just. Ex I'm explaining to them we're not gonna be drilling here and here. We're just gonna drill at the bottom. At the bottom. And what size is at the bottom? It says. It doesn't say. Yeah, it says something. It there. says three millimeter to six millimeter to eight millimeter to ten millimeter. That's it. Ten millimeter. <laughs> I know. That's that's what it says. So I'll go ahead and post these instructions in the bottom of the description so you guys can print it out also if you get the front under spoiler and the rear under spoiler but we're not definitely not going to drill here or in the front we're just going to drill on the neat and we're going to add more double-sided tape around the front under spoiler so let's go <laughs> to drill that yeah because the hole is big if you look at the hole uh, we should have something in the big we should have something in there that's big enough to do that Take out this one here. <clears throat> that's the one here that we're gonna use back. That's here. Yeah. I don't understand why they didn't make it so you so could have used this one yeah. up here. Yeah, this is what I don't that. understand. So, if you guys can see, there is a clip underneath here, but the clip doesn't start until right, right here. Well, the one they want you to drill a hole right here somewhere. Which would have been better if we could just use this clip over okay, again. Let me just rest it on here so you guys can see what we're talking about. See, see, it doesn't have a clip here where this where it needs to be. The clip is in here, so we're gonna have to drill a hole here yep. and put a clip in here to hold it. Yep. All right. There we go. And this is how it looks on the car. This is how it's gonna look. So more than likely for the install, you're gonna need double-sided tape. The way we're doing a double-sided tape, Phillips screwdriver, flathead, and here's a bigger fill-up. So we're gonna use a little and extra. some rubbing alcohol. We're gonna use a little extra. And there's also alcohol swabs in there that we could use too that comes to the kit. So we're gonna put a little extra tape right here. Know if this is thick enough as that <clears> one <throat> see how thick this one is yeah i don't know this one is not that thick but and this whole front under spoiler is clear bra so 
no rock chips or anything will bang it up so the whole front lip is uh has a clear film on it There's a clip down there. Right here, let's just take out of this hole here. This one, we're gonna use this to mount, uh, mount it on there. So we're gonna take that clip out. There we go. I'm scared there for a moment. Woo! So I call action. Just for these. Yeah, but we're probably not. Yeah, we're not using we're them, not so use we it. don't. We don't have to. We're not even using. Yeah, because they want you to take out the yeah, whole front bumper yeah, to put in. Uh, to take. Yeah. Drill all of that. We ain't drilling. Because you got to go inside of the front bumper to put put that thing to through. Put that, yeah. Yeah. So we're not gonna go through all. No, that. we're not. Oh, we just gotta be smart and careful. <clears throat> So we're going to unscrew the clip on the side, right there. So fill up. Take this screw out. There we go. So Dang. we take that screw out and we put tape. These are the, where we put the tapes. So put a tape here. We zoom out. We put tape here, up there. All right there. Now um, we got a swab, right? We got to clean up. We got a swab here with the with the thing, right? With the. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna, so gonna, so gonna swab from right there. So with the applied alcohol swab, we're going to clean around the surface so it can stick better with the double-sided tape. All the grease and what's not, that's what it's supposed to do. Oop! Got a little water running here. It's going to dry up already. Eh? It's drying up. Yeah, that'll <laughs> the good stuff. You gonna put it back in the package? Unless you took it out. This thing dead now. Okay. It's dead already? Yeah. God damn. The sticky is really yeah. So we're gonna peel that back just a little bit. The tape that's already uh, on the front under spoiler. Okay, go on, go on now. Okay. Put the clip back in underneath here, Jay. Put the clip back in. Underneath there, yeah, put the clip back in. So, the clip we took out underneath here, we're putting it back in that bracket. Put the clip back up in here. This one here, push that back in. So, we okay, use that. Man. So, that yeah. clip is in. Okay, we're gonna pull the tape And then, this is the one we have to drill in. Right there. Okay, Wish we could use this clip instead of having to drill a new one, but it is what it is. Okay, 
Okay, we're gonna pull the tape off now. Yeah, pull what about the yeah, I was about to say that. So we're going to screw back in the fill up. Okay. Right there. We're going to have to hold this in like that. Yeah, yeah we're going to have to hold this in. So I guess this is the problem is having where you got to make sure you push in here so Except the weather so when we drill the hole underneath yep, there, when it you drill, holds it in yep when you drill the hole underneath it holds it in and it protects water from getting in here all right you're gonna have to old man is going on and going to work hope we don't have nothing in the way up there that's gonna get messed up i don't see i can see through the hole i don't see nothing in there a little hole right there to come back this way. See, we drilled a hole in there. Now we're gonna push one of these up in here. There we go. Button up. And that's number one. That's down. Easy, simple. Instead of having to take off the whole front bumper, take off the the grill piece for on top of the grill and all the other stuff, and just push down for the tape, push around the sides so the tape. Make sure the tape sticks really good, and basically that's one side down. <clears throat> so the drill bit that we use to drill the hole is uh you said three eighths three eighths so we're gonna jack up the rear just a little bit so this is the box for the front the front and that's the part number and then and the part number is for the red accord so when you guys look at this part number it's for the red accord and this is the rear for the red accord <clears throat> so this is San the box Mar San Marino red, San Marino red. yeah the color is called San Marino red so this is the rear box comes with everything so we have our instructions I think this one has like seven pages and I'll post the link in the description for this Seven seven. We're done with the front end, front underspooler. Don't need these. Boom. Phillips. So right now he's taking off the rear splash guards to put the front lip on. He jacked it up just a little bit to get on that corner. screw in that corner over there need some white so the screw back there I'm gonna use the splash guard since it's super dark so in the splash guard the bolt you use to take out the one up in the corner, we're gonna take that bolt out to take the splash guard off, and then we're gonna put the bolt put screw, back, screw in. back in that corner to hold it on. To hold it, to hold this the mesh, the mesh on the. So we're going, yep. So you can the, hold the, the mesh. So the template that it comes with, it has with a little dimple. It has a dimple already but there. It, that's where the dimple is supposed to be at. But they had the mud flap on there. They already put a, a, a hole dimple in it. there. So this is how you line. This is where you. That's how you line it up. You line up there. You mark your spot. I mark your spot up here. Line that up with a dimple there, and then you mark your spot. Yeah. 
right there, and then mark your spot right up here. Right there. Which we already mark over spot right there. Right there. And even when you put, it doesn't matter how big the size is because the hole already fits. Now we're gonna we're gonna drill over a little hole. And what drill bit? What size? Well, this is the. Uh, I'm using the um. A 964 drill bit. A 964 drill bit. Which is a little smaller than the than the screw that gotta go in there. See? See how much cleaner that was? Then we're gonna use these these push yeah. pins to hold it on. Now we're gonna put it like this, just like that. One there. And we're gonna put one right down here over the other one. Yep. Boom. Right like that. Right. Yep. Okay. Now we're gonna clean up here. We're gonna put it. We're gonna put the put it on, and then we're gonna drill our hole underneath. So we're gonna show them the tape that we put to, to secure the spots, this. The part spot. So this is the manu the OEM tape that's on there, and then we took those two tabs that was right here and right here because we're not gonna drill into the bumper. We put double sided tape here and here. So that's how it's looking. Of course, we're gonna have to drill right here when we get underneath the car. Just like the front. So we're gonna proceed now. We're gonna clean the spot up. We're gonna clean up. Here we go. Alcohol strip. Clean. Uh, we're gonna clean all the way so you go back here. So all the way to that corner. gonna need your extra hands so I don't know how you're gonna keep this when you give me your extra we're not gonna go in as yet I gotta get so you're gonna do your size so I'm just yeah, gonna, gonna hold gonna it like these, this catch these things in first over here so he's gonna put the screw for the bottom, the bottom screw in first that's already drilled, pre drilled. To line it up first. Yeah, I'm gonna put the top. And then we're gonna put the top one in. And this is all with the wheel on, so we didn't take the wheel off. I'm gonna get on the other side. So that's how it looks. I got it. So I'm gonna get back on the other side, so that's how it looks. The two black screws. And I'm gonna get on the other side to hold it. Where the other screwdriver? The Phillip, right there. So he's gonna screw that in. Now, we got to line it up back here with, with the this. curve. So if you guys notice, this little curve right there needs to line up with that curve. Okay, so how, um, let me know when it's lined up here. Let me know. There? Uh, I think it needs to go up some. Up there? A little bit more. You got to go up more? Right there? Just a little bit more. More up like that? Yeah. Right Is there? there clips at the bottom? I'm going to have to drill a hole and put a clip in. So that is that are we lined up there? Yep, right there. Okay, so we're gonna so press it on. Right there. So you guys can see this curve needs to be lined up with that curve evenly. So it needs to line up just like that to go down the side. 
And then we're gonna pull the tape after we screw screw that down. Right there, you said right? Yep. Okay, we're gonna pull the tape. Just like that. Drill. We're gonna drill a hole underneath here now to hold this in right here. Just like the front, we gotta drill a hole right there. Right there where that hole is. Right here. Three eighths drill bit. And there we go. These are for the templates to drill into the bumper, which we're not going to use. So we're we're not using these templates at all. So we just drilled into the bottom. Now we're going to put the clip in there. All right, clip is up in there. Clip is in. There we go. Clip is in. Everything is nice and sturdy. <clears throat> so that's how it looks with the front lip. So that's the front and rear underspoiler for the video. If you guys like this video or have any questions or comments, leave it in the description below in the comment section. And it definitely looks nice. Definitely gives the car a different look <clears throat> for the front and the rear of the car. Definitely looks nice. If you guys like this video, hit the thumbs up on the like. And also subscribe to the channel for more content that's gonna be coming for this car. <clears throat> and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.